Wow. How nice to be here. Republica for the first time. I'm Gloria Spindle. Yeah, I'm Paul from Wibbeck. Hello. It's, it's really amazing to be here. Just we've, we've been in a few workshops and presentations so far, and the, the energy and the collective brain power here. I was just saying to Paul yesterday, we should be recruiting. Yeah, <laughs> really. And we will, I'm sure. A little bit about me. Um, I'm the Google Nest general manager. Google Nest is a two-year two initiative from um, Google, and I've been, you might struggle to place my accent a little bit, because I've lived in a lot of places, and um, I've recently joined Paul in the last two years working from Hamburg on uh, Google Nest, and I've learned a little bit of German, but it's not so good, but it's nicht perfect. So maybe next year when we come, I'll be able to speak in German, I hope. No, you should be honest, Gloria. Your, your German is quite good. Well. You'll see her next year with a much better accent. But I have to say, actually, it was, it was Larry's idea, right, to send you over here to Hamburg. Mm -hmm. Well, over there to Hamburg. Um, when I started two years ago to really think about what it means to bring in data security to Google, and I'm the data security evangelist for Google, and I have to say, you sometimes really get stuck on details, and there it was, it was such a pleasure to work with Gloria, um, because she's just a visionary on that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as Max kind of hinted at in the introduction, we at Google have actually been thinking a lot about the same things you've been thinking about. We see on your program topics like surveillance, privacy, data, Snowden. These are issues that are close to our heart as well. And we know that the world's thinking about these things. It's not just the elite in this room. And of course we know this because we've got emails to analyze and we've got Google search results. We know that the world is talking about this. And Okay. The thing with us at Google is that we've always been driven by this belief that you don't have to be evil to make money. You can make money without being evil. It's true that our business model is built on the value of your data, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, actually. It places us in a very unique position to be able to tell what you need and what you want. We know from your data. And what it's telling us at the moment is that we need to think about a new kind of internet. We need an internet that is based on mutual trust and freedom. Well, basically, it is, it is two main questions we had there, right? One is, how do we get back an equilibrium that the data you give us do not only support the companies? but are they are good for you too. So the equilibrium really between the, the data benefit for companies go back a bit more to the users. And on the other hand, we wonder how do we reimagine uh, an internet which is bringing back the, the trust so that people start reconnect with one another and really feel free to share information just as we all imagined it. 10 years ago. So, we'll talk a little bit about our products, and we think that they're answering some of these questions. The first product Should is Google Trust. Okay, I'll just show you. <laughs> Sorry, I've got this thing here. Here we this go. This is Google Trust. This is our flagship product, and one we're really, really excited about. As I was saying, we know that the world is concerned about the data problem. And just a brief look at email traffic over the last eight months, we've seen a steady rise in the words PGP, surveillance, and privacy appearing in email traffic. At a peak, we're seeing 200,000 
mentions of, this wor of these words a day. That's a 1,033% increase since January 2013. And don't mention NSA. This is, well. So, we know that we're not going to be able to stop governments. They want access to our email inboxes. They want access to our message records and our chats. There's nothing we can do about this. And on the other side, hackers, hackers are really benefiting from data theft and identity theft. You might recall just this year in Germany, 60 million digital identities were stolen. Now, of course, at Google, we're always working to improve our security. But it's a, it's a bit of a cat and mouse game. And we're not above the law, of course. So what can we do about this? What can we as Google do? People say integrate PGP. There was such a mess. And I mean, this would break our business model, right? The usability just doesn't work. And we need your data. So we've been struggling with this for a long, long time and working really hard trying to figure out this puzzle. And then it was actually just, just one night. Do you remember, do you remember Paul? I remember that um, night, yeah, very well. Yeah, my sister crashed my car, and I, I just had this sudden brainwave. Insurance, of course. That's what we need. We need insurance. We need insurance for our data. It was actually, that was moonshot sinking, Gloria. Accidents will always happen. So we're very, very proud to offer you Google Trust, the world's first data-driven insurance model. Thank you. So how it works quickly, Google Trust. You sign in, you sign up for Google Trust, and you'll be financially compensated by Google in the very unfortunate case that you are a victim of data leaking or data misuse, whether it be by surveillance, government requests for your data, tracking, you name it, hacking. And the way we are seeing it is that we can't really guarantee that we protect your information, but we can do our very best to protect you. So you get a compensation if something happens. You and your family will be OK. And we base our policies on our own risk assessment of you, from our knowledge of you. And we also provide incentives for people who use all our Google products. The more products you use, the better your policy will be, of course. A lot of people are talking about opting out of the data economy at the moment. We're saying opt in, and you'll be better protected. So basically, this is number one. We really want you to find back the trust, right? We want you to feel good and warm and safe in this world which, as we heard in work workshops all over here, is apparently a bit difficult for some of you at least. So you can imagine how hard it was for us to work through all those problems, basically really having the, the world's fear on our shoulders, the world's fear about data. So it was quite nice that we had also a Google Hug as a little enlightenment product, which was helping us rise our mood when it was sometimes a bit more difficult. Google Hug, what is that? It's basically an app which is always tracking, it's all about connections, first of all, all right? So it's, it always knows where you are, how you feel at any given moment. We will analyze your data, and we will find out your basic needs and the matches which are nearby, uh, depending on your um, movements, on the tone of your voice, and your digital communication. We will always know how, what, you, what your top five needs are right now. And maybe we just try it out. Is there anyone in the room who wants to try out who has an Android in his pocket and wants to you want to be the first one, the first person in the world, in public, trying out Google Hug? Wow, OK, that Only was great. All right, give a, give a hand to me. All right. So, 
Sir, um, can I have, do you have a Google ID? Okay, good. Can you give me your Google ID? Lawrence Pagemann? That, that's your name? Lawrence Pagemann? Okay. Gloria, would you be so kind? Oh, yeah, sorry. Is that the product? Um, uh, whoops, where is it? <laughs> no, it's not there. There it is. Okay. Uh, would you be so kind to just um, bring it? Um, Lawrence, oh, is it, uh, do you have your device on right now? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, can you just type in uh, Lawrence Pagemann? Is it with Z or with C? Okay. Oh, oh. Oops, sorry. Woo! That's going a bit quick here. Sorry, sorry. Wait a sec, uh, Gloria. Here we go. Type it in. Sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, with Z. Okay, I'm quite excited if it's going to work. So let's see what's happening. Um, Oh, uh, sorry. No, that's that's not that's not what you're looking for. Uh, could you just uh, go up there in the right? Um, have a look up there to the products. To the products. Uh, go to hub. Yeah, that's it. Sorry, sorry, yeah. Paul. Mm. Okay, excuse me. Sorry, sir. Um, so basically, we are now analyzing Mr. Pagman's needs, and we will see if somehow someone close to us in this room eventually is. Um, Oh, it's Jan Josef Liefers. Is that right? Is uh, Mr. Liefers in the room? Is it Mr. Liefers? Is it? Um, excuse me. <laughs> that's, that's quite a, uh, can you can you please, please wait? Wait a sec. That's uh, quite a surprise. Can you? Um, so, may I ask you, uh, is that all right? It's, how do you feel? How do I feel? I'm uh, surprised. <laughs> I feel uh, quite okay. I have a lot of things going on at the moment, a lot of work, a lot of appointments. I've got to host the German Film Awards day after tomorrow, so I'm feeling, yeah, used. <laughs> uh, so, sorry, um, but, but is that right? Could you... But you need a hug. A hug? Well, it says like <laughs> 83 I mean, percent. I, yeah, yeah, who couldn't? I mean, who couldn't use a hug? Yeah. Is that not? okay if, if we just... Uh, well, uh, well, Mr. Pagman, uh, please, Lawrence, go. Give this man a hug. Come on. This is... Please, please, just... Come on. Yes. Wow, this is... I think I just I don't need to explain the product anymore. Uh, you all got it explains itself. This is wonderful, Gloria. Wow. This is wonderful. Wow, that's that was amazing. <laughs> oh, I is love my enough? job sometimes. For now. Uh, yes, please. Fe just I'm feel young, free. Fine. Just feel free. You can exchange uh, information. But this is not all about Google Hug. It's just casual. It's just basically Thank you. Wh where you are, whenever you are there, however you feel. So. Thank you very much, Mr. Liefers, Mr. Pagemann. Um, I'd say let's move on with our presentation. Nice meeting you. Um, thank you. It's fine. Just give it, just give it to someone there. Okay. Uh, so that was great. It was it's amazing. <laughs> Did you know he's here? I, I don't wow. know. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, but let's let's move on. Google. Uh, this thing is not really working, does it? Yeah. Ah. No, it is. Yeah. Our third. Third in the nest family. Paul? Ready? Yes. This is actually one of the most, um, one of my goodies I love most. Our next product. It's not Google Glass. No, it's not Google Glass. This is, you know, you know it all, nothing new. No, what I'm talking about right here is Google B. Should okay. I try it out? Mm -hmm. All right, so <clears throat> let's see if it works. So far, there were a little bit of technical problems. Um, so now I'm saying, oh, I've got wow, honey. there she is, our Google Bee. <laughs> wow. So, she's, we're working really hard and trying to make her a bit smaller. That's really she's loud. Quite big right now. So come here, come here, come here. Wow. Come here, come here, come here. Oh. 
Ah. Uh, okay. So, drones have been getting a really hard time in the press lately. And I'm just asking you, take a second and imagine the possibilities of a personal drone for everyday life. The Google Bee, which is in stable beta uh, mode at the moment, and as I said, we're working on making it a bit smaller. It's a bit loud, a bit big. Can fly at 1,200 feet high, and she's equipped with video live streaming capacity. So we imagined a little bit, and we came up with some features. She can, of course, stay behind when you're away and watch over your home and family. She can make sure that your kids are going where they really say they're going. And she can fly to a concert that you're going to miss and record it for you, and then you can stream it live into your living room. Pretty amazing. And we'll definitely have more features where those came from. So that's our special Google Bee. Wow. Yeah, and it worked. I was, I was not really sure. The best thing about the Google Bee is really this garbage thing. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, Gloria this is was Paul's really... favorite uh, feature of the B. He's she been was... really, and really she was, obsessed she was with fighting it. about it, actually. She was really, no, there's nothing, you know, it's all about data and all, but actually, so this is the best thing. I mean, we're 2014, and we still have to carry out our own garbage. The B is doing it for you from now on. Isn't it the best? <laughs> Yeah, come on, come on. See, Gloria, that's I, what I they guess, want. I guess that's... I just don't mind carrying out my trash as much as you do, Paul. Yeah, no, 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 no. The, the trash is, is that is, uh, should be over by now. And shopping bags for everyone. Like, no worries about that. Okay, should we head on to the... What is the time saying, actually? Um, uh, looks we... like we've got about 10 minutes. Perfect. So, I think it's time to say, to come to the final product. Where is it? Here, Google Buy. Um, Google Buy is that we got the issue that more and more people were coming towards us and asking what is happening with my digital life when I die. And so we came up, or maybe I just show you. Hmm. In the future, all your friends will first of all be informed. If you push that button, You will come to Google Buy, and this would look like if uh, Gloria would pass away today, which I really hope won't happen. Oh, but anyway, you can have a look. Uh, this is a, a bit of it is made up, all right? But this is actually her horse. You can't really see it. But it is, um, we take the best of her, uh, the best quotes of all her males. We, we make a summary <laughs> of who she is, of what she believes in. Uh, we take pictures, videos, and all the friends can, can commemorate and say and show their sorrow. So this is the idea to really understand um, who does not want to leave this world with a beautiful picture of her or himself. And that's our answer. I think some of that information is wrong though, right? Yeah. Like, I don't have a husband and child, I mean, come on. Oh, so maybe that's an inv invitation, but let's talk about that later. Uh, I would say, now, for now, we are, we are good with our four products. Um, it, it's, I'm still very excited to sh share it with all of you. Uh, where is it? Right, so you can visit our website to see more information about our products. And, yeah, I think we would close by saying that we really believe that Google Nest <coughs> will change the internet again. Yes. <laughs> Gloria, 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 don't worry. Well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's been quite an emotional journey together. No, it, it, was, it was really a hard time working on this project, I have to say, too. And, we did all that with a strong belief that the internet is ours and that we should never, never forget that. This is what we all create together. And we should trust in one another again. We should go forward to really reconnect and not forget this idea of sharing information for everyone. Thank you very much.
me, excuse me. One more time. Wait, wait a second, wait a second. No, <laughs> Mr. Pagman, please. Um, one more thing, one more thing. For this, I would please ask, could you put the live stream off? This is just for... Oh, whoa, 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 no live stream. Whoa. Okay. Good. So, <clears throat> excuse me, there was a little technical problem. What was there in the back? Do you know that? I don't know, some activists. Uh, what? That's weird. 
Gloria, uh, I think that's good for now. Thank you very much. Thank it was so a great, much. great, great evening. Uh, we're there for the press. We would say uh, we have a press officer. Where is she? There, just come, come in front. Um, Jackie, this is Jackie. We'll take three interviews, right? We'll take three exclusive interviews. She's going to make a list. You can just go over there. She's going to take your names, uh, agency, phone number, everything, all your data. And we will make a priority listing. So, of course, um, and, but we will shoot out for like five minutes afterwards here if you want to ask us some quick questions, all right? So thank you very much.